Oh, so you are a Twitch streamer. Okay. Yeah. As am I. That's awesome, man. Shout out to your chat. I don't stream VR because that's not the oh. content that I stream. What I'm do you a stream? Music producer. Oh, that's awesome. Um, what kind of so music? I'm gonna guess I you make beats. I'm guessing you make beats. I do. Music? I do um, lo fi and EDM. That's wow. cool. That's so cool. <laughs> Every once in a while, I might do synth wave. Are you like Oh, chill nice. Cow? Wow. Almost <laughs> like Chill Cow, but my main sponsors are Monster Cat and Chill Hop. Howdy, howdy. Wow. So cool. Yeah, you got sponsors and shit. Like, I've been streaming for two years. How many uh, viewers do you get on average? Average is about 648. Holy cow, you're famous! <laughs> wow, you're bigger than Jeopardy! So... <laughs> So I mean I'm I'm pretty you know I You're clouded. Night, so I get the I get the overseas can I, can I, bar you for I don't really care about much of my own country in the United States. They're not into the same shit that I'm into. <laughs> Dude, do you want to have like a beef between our communities to boost our engagement? Or we like pretend to be feuding? Oh, I don't know if we should feud or if we should pretend over the overstream date. Oh, that's a good idea. I mean, people can see what I look like because I put myself on display in my name tag. Uh, oh, you look cool. Okay. I make mixed drinks in my spare time. Oh, I was gonna say, I, I was gonna say you look like you were working at Chili's or something. I actually am friends with some people who own a local restaurant, so I'm able oh. to drink any drink that I want to at any point in time. That's badass. I don't work in a Chili's. The restaurant that I go to is family owned and operated. <laughs> We're about to have uh, Guns N' Roses come to my state. Next oh, time. wow. Oh, really? no I, I wouldn't mind to go see yeah. the Gunners. I have something to t okay, this is gonna sound bad, but I was literally on TikTok tonight and I saw someone say if a guy listens to Guns N' Roses, he's an he's an abuser, he's a manipulator. I saw it on a TikTok tonight. Really? They said guys who listen to really Guns N' Roses strange. are manipulators. On a TikTok I saw the music. If you're a boy who listens to Guns N' Roses, you're sexist. I mean I can prove you wrong. Like, you're not a manipulator. <laughs> The longest relationship I had was eight years. Dang. Are you straight or gay or bi? I have no fucking clue after moving to the state that I live in. So I know what locker room stuff is like because of me in high school. You were a jock? I was. You're a jock who now makes beats. They you turning around. Do you do you wear cool clothes? <laughs> I feel like you wear cool clothes. Most of the clothes that I wear um, are either from Express <laughs> or from Hollister. Oh, that's sick! Uh, Hollister is like the cool kids store. Hollister is for cool kids and like hot boys. Like <laughs> beef. Right? Like I feel like if you're a nerd, you can't even go to Hollister because the vibes are like very like hot people only. At Hollister, you know what I mean? It, it feels like that when you walk in there, yeah. It's very intimidating. Like, I literally feel like I can't go into Hollister because I'm not a jock. Yep. I mean, they do have some... If you're a chick and you want to show your ass around, they got all like these no. good-looking look, booty shorts. So I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. Okay. Yeah, if you're a little slut, you go in there. But what if, what if I'm like... I'm kind of like emo. I'm kind of emo, so... I mean, not to say I don't Blazing. shop at like Spencer's or Hot Topic every once in a while. Oh, that's so. cool. Like, what do you get from Hot Topic? Um, since I'm friends with the Mostly general gay. manager there, um, she lets me know if anything Assassin's Creed comes in. Ooh. Or if any of my bands for Three Days Grace or My Darkest Days comes in, then I oh, buy the shit. Sure. Yo, My Darkest or Days are fat I lover. mostly get head at Hot Topic. I just stroll into Hot Topic, get a little head, go into Spencer's Gift, get blown. <laughs> <laughs> no, you fucking go. Off. 
You fucking go into Spencer's and buy yourself a fucking. No, you go into fucking Spencer's and get yourself a fucking. Ask away. Is he turning on with all this knowledge? I mean, it's hot when a guy is like a cool jock for sure. I play. Uh, no leave. Um, I played baseball no, for a little bit. Cool. I played tennis and I did golf. <laughs> Dang, tennis yeah, is like one of the more preppy sports. For <laughs> yeah. The losing it every year. So you're kind of like, but you you're would, like... But the only kicker was is I'm not right-handed. Nobody expects oh, me neither. somebody that's left-handed. Dang. Okay, so you're, my perception of you is you're like... <laughs> you're, she, she already thinks your marriage material stance. So you're like... You're like a jock fused with a prep, with a little hint of hardcore, hardcore darkness. Is that a correct <laughs> way to characterize way. you? Yeah, I mean, I did have my point in time growing up through a teenager. I had my rebellious time. And that's when you got into like three days, three days grace. <laughs> Three days grace, my darkest days, five finger death punch. Would you say? Oh, fuck it, do you turn a man with those songs? Would those you say days? that year thirteen for you was your darkest days? No. Um, I what are you, what are your darkest 16. days? Sixteen. This is the best conversation 16, ever. Yeah. How come? Do you know what a year thirteen is? The issues that I dealt with. I have to fucking year twelve, you. Like driving. Was that take? Yeah. Oh no, a whole lot worse than that. Was, was it getting domed by a girl? <laughs> it was more on the lines of being cheated on every fucking oh, day. Oh no! Oh, sexy oh, girl. So sorry. <laughs> this is the best conversation ever. <laughs> That's hard. That I would. That would turn anyone sorry, dark. Sorry. Who is keep, the keep nerd going. sitting next to you who cheated off you? I mean, it was perfectly fine with me, you know. But until it like got to a certain point, then I'd fucking explode. Just beat the shit out of every yeah, Nice uh, hate yeah, speech. Maybe. Nice hate speech, Blink. I remember that my girlfriend would this cheat, so cheat good. with another guy, and then I'd explode everywhere and have to lick it up. You got a fucking issue. <laughs> But I'm also the same guy who's getting ready to turn into his mid twenties with PTSD. Oh my god! Oh my god from being cheated on? Years, Dude, so doesn't shit. change. Please, I mean, the most subs I've given to someone by is like five hundred. What? You're rich. You're literally rich. Comes with the job. The producer job or the restaurant job? My other job. You have a secret job that you didn't tell me. Do you I have sell a job that allows to strange rich people. <laughs> no, I make uh, roughly about ninety-five thousand dollars a year. Oh my god! Wow, all selling your mouth. Strange what do you do? Do you uh, do you want to? You don't have to tell me if it's like too what personal. Do do? Disclose. Uh, the only thing I can say is I work for the National Security Agency. That's about it. Wow. What? That's kind of ominous. I'm 25 years old. I work for the NSA. Fresh hot. So Wait, do you NSA like stalk people? Only for certain keywords. What? Oh, Jesus Christ, this is so good. Can you tell me what the keywords are? No. Can you look me up and see what you find out about me? No, but if you ever watch the movie Snowden, you can see that the NSA can te technically look through even a webcam, even if it's turned off and still look at you, even if you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing, if you're having sex, if you're undressing, they can still see. I, un I unplug mine when I stop streaming. I just unplug mine. <laughs> Oh my god, your character is like giving this but... creepy nod. <laughs> it makes you. It, I can tell you know way more than you're letting on, which is kind of attractive, but also scary, which is also attractive. This is so great. I shall change. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. I feel like they would fire you if they knew you were wearing that. Imagine, imagine going to work like that. 
I wear a I wear ripped jeans and a white t-shirt to work. What do you what what do you, what do you actually do like at a day at the NSA? Like do you, do you physic personally monitor people or are you like more like a back end sort of logistics kind of guy? Are you like a lot of back end work? It's more of uh it's more on the lines of data analysis. I get paid a hundred and fifty eight dollars an hour to do this shit to analyze data that's not, that... i studied business Green management Analytics. and telecommunications and you're a jock <laughs> and you're a jock who works at the nsa are you like the coolest guy at the nsa or are you like just kind of average for the nsa that's, that's a high are there a, a lot of jocks too. yeah uh no i am the one geek you'll find that works with computers all day and wears glasses <laughs> But you're also dressed like a jock, and you're like muscular. You paid extra. I'm muscular, oh, okay. um, but I don't dress like a jock. I dress like fucking Mark Zuckerberg at Facebook. I feel like I feel like you probably like monitor like a girl like you, you like hack into her computer to watch her undress without her consent, and then you're like muscle your I... bicep like rips out of your cool Hollister shirt that you're wearing because you're a jock, and you're like a person of jock I'm experience. Not the average person can see about 3% of the internet. You got the dark web, <laughs> then you have the deep web. Wait, which one's which one's darker or deeper? Uh, deeper is where you will find most of your red rooms, where you would pay red to rooms? see somebody tortured and killed. Uh, oh my god. Do you, like, the stop them? The do you, like, try to stop them? No. Then there's the we can't web. do anything about it. The only thing we can we... do is either well, so trace What the hell do IP, you do? But, uh, there's not much we can do if it's traced Because they're anonymous? VPN, there's no... So then why do you have a job? What do you, what's the point of you? Oh, this they're just paying you for nothing so you can go buy Hollister clothes. <laughs> Getting getting off at yeah, NSA and going straight to Hollister. <laughs> I mean, the, I mean, when I worked at GameStop, I bought Hollister clothes. The, the so. GameStop to NSA pipeline. So you like literally like you spend all your time like watching people get tortured, and yet like you can't even do anything about it. So like, why is I? I feel like you guys That's are all what just red like rooms are. <laughs> Yeah, but like uh, the NS that should be the kind of stuff that you would is... want to stop, right? Like that's the kind that's like the worst thing that's happening, probably. Our job Who watches the watchers. With the... No, he's way, he's very Our job is the... the worst thing that's happening. <laughs> the last thing we want is someone to commit another 9/11, which would be on my generation. Not the previous two generations. <laughs> so like the That's like the two right. the two thousand eleven, like the two thousand eleven, <laughs> or the like the TikTok eleven, Fort <laughs> or the Fortnite eleven. That's like I'm just spitballing like a Gen Z nine eleven name, the Fortnite eleven. Yeah, I don't, I don't appreciate that at all. At all. <laughs> what you take nine eleven really seriously? <laughs> I mean, it's in the past. I feel Extremely. Like, I feel like what's in the past is in the past. Do you think but you could have stopped it if you'd been there? Could you have stopped it if you'd been there? That's a good question. Uh, there's many different outcomes to the way 9-11 could have been treated. I ain't a fairy you know, seeker. People probably knew about it. What would you have done? What would you have done? About it. What would you have done? Yeah, they I... could have landed the planes on a runway. <laughs> At the time when 9-11 happened, I was still in elementary school, so I don't fucking know. So when did you fight well, for this country excuse, between working at GameStop actually. and working at NSA and being like... And you're just going, you're I, 25, when and you work for GameStop and serve in the military and work for NSA? Mm -hmm. How did you NSA fit all this in your life? Of the military. Mil military gets first pick. At All right, guys, go 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 in. get a hall. You're done with the military. Go to Hollister and stock up on some cool jockey sort of preppy outfits for your job at the NSA. Look, I'm I'm that one guy that doesn't wear prep shorts. Damn. I still wear jeans. All year. Oh, that's right. awesome. I don't care how fucking hot it is. Makes my ass look huge. He's a rebel. <laughs> oh, okay, so if you wear a jock strap, you're gay as shit. 
<laughs> there's certain keywords that we look for. That's so your job is literally just like hitting Control F on a keyboard and typing bomb <laughs> and seeing if anything comes up? No. We can technically just type in any keyword into a Google, like a Google search engine, and it would pop up every. It sounds like a little kid could do your job. Google, Peace how many past. lives have I saved? Quotation marks. But it's not our job. There's a defense. Your job sounds really easy. It sounds Google like an idiot Google could do it. And you make beats in your spare time, and you're like a successful producer who makes beats. And you have sponsors for your beats, Netflix, and then you yeah. go to work at the NSA. It's, 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 it's. Okay, this is crazy. Okay, Dude, he said so much stuff. Beat from like the 1990s. Get that shit yeah, out of here. Hey, I like the 1990s. <laughs> the fuck Who you are just some say? Of your influences? Oh, I didn't realize you were the motherfucker talking. You're fucking in a corner with a big giant's fucking head. Yeah, and I didn't realize you were saving us from a second 9-11. Now answer the question. Monster Cat, Chill Hop, a VC, oh, Dead Mal, cool. uh, Paul Oakland Fold. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it goes on, man. I mean, Paul Oakland Fold was my first producer I really got into. Um, most recently... Uh, the main producer I've listened to is, uh, oh fuck, what the fuck is his name? He does, um, A State of Trance on, uh, Spotify. Oh my god. <laughs> so where can we find your music? Spotify. Oh my god. <laughs>